my friend Mr. Norm Crosby, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, isn't that nice? Thank you. It's a joy to be back. I'm so glad I made it this year. I was in Boston. I just flew back. I was performing at a, a schizophrenic convention. <laughs> no, it was wonderful. And everybody who was anybody was there. And um, I, I just had to come back because I would not miss this telethon for the world. This telethon, for real, opens up my head. It makes me think. Did you see what happened when Jerry Lewis walked out here? A standing ovulation. You know what that's from? <laughs> Not because he's just a great performer, but because he makes you think. We have to think. People don't think much anymore. The mind is an incredible thing. Think about this. The mind starts working the minute you're born, and it doesn't stop until you have to stand up in, in front of an audience. <laughs> But you have to think. People don't think anymore. I, I was at the airport yesterday, flying back, I swear. I heard an announcement that destroyed me. Will the party who lost the hearing aids come to American Airlines? <laughs> I hope he's not alone, that party. I mean, think. A guy walked up to me on a golf course once. He said, Norm, look at this ball. You cannot lose this ball. If you hit it in the water, it floats. If you hit it in the rough, it glows. If you hit it in the woods, it beeps. You can't lose it. I said, that's fantastic. Where'd you get it? He said, I found it. <laughs> See, if you think, then you don't say stupid things that you wouldn't say if you didn't think. You would never go in a crematorium and say, what's cooking? You wouldn't do that. <laughs> you would not go in an antique store and say, what's new? You wouldn't do that. You would never, never say to an older man, no hard feelings. You wouldn't say that. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm talking about? What would you say to a one-legged hitchhiker? Hop in? You wouldn't say that. <laughs> what would you say to somebody who's gone to the electric chair? More power to you? No. <laughs> look, look at Kathy Lee Gifford. She's, after all these years, just discovered there's no Tuesday night football. Think about that. <laughs> Think before you speak. Before you speak, think. You, just because you call a girl a good egg does not mean that she goes over easy. That's not what it means. <laughs> I have a question for the ladies, just for the ladies. If a man was in a forest all alone and he voiced an opinion and there was no woman there anywhere near to hear him, would he still be wrong? It. Young people today, God bless them, young kids, they live together, they don't think about getting married. Senior citizens in Florida move in with each other, they don't think about getting married. The only people who are thinking up about getting married today are homosexuals and Catholic priests. <laughs> it's the truth. Think, would a, if a mute person got arrested, would he have a right to remain silent? Lady Godiva, think about this. Rode down the street in Coventry, England, devoid of all bereavement, no clothes, <laughs> just long hair all around her to champion the cause of womanhood. And the men of the town stood on the sidewalk going, <laughs> 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 and history, history tells us that one young boy was standing on the sidewalk and saw this magnificent, gorgeous woman ride by on a white horse. And with reverence and awe, he looked up as Lady Godiva passed him and whispered, Hey, lady! <laughs> His name was Jeremiah. <laughs> think, think, and you don't do stupid things. I have a sweet elderly couple on my street that just went for a divorce. And the judge, 45 years married, the judge said to the woman, do you want to give this man a divorce? And she said, I want to give him poison. <laughs> All I want from him is he should leave me like he found me. And the judge said, 45 years married, dear, that would be physically impossible. She said, really, he found me a widow? Let him leave me a widow. 
Two doors down from them, another old couple that we know went to get a divorce. The woman said her husband hadn't spoken to her in 20 years. The judge said, is that true? The man said, yes. He said, can you tell me why you haven't spoken to your wife in 20 years? And the man said, I didn't want to interrupt her. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll be back. <laughs>